break it. Like, I, I try so hard, but it just, like, I, I can't. Like, I literally can't, and I'm what trying. What is it? That, like, what are you? I'm scared of getting hurt. But, like, I also right. have in the back of my... Well, it's more, like, in the back of my head, I'm scared of getting hurt. But, like, I really, huh. like, want to, like, take a step forward and forget about all that stuff. Lacey, leave. Someone ban it from my chat. Baby, I love you. <laughs> Wendy, please just subscribe. Um, but... Yo, be nice. He just oh, my floor. Okay. You need to watch him. I wasn't... I he was in your lap. Okay. Carry on. What was so, that? Wait, tell me, tell me, you said you're scared of getting hurt. That's what, yeah. That's what, what happened in your life? What is it that happened? Like you got cheated on? Um, I've been in two other relationships, and mm -hmm. the first one was like, oh, like first love, like obviously toxic. Yeah. I was cheated on in that relationship with my first love, mm -hmm. but also I was younger. So mm -hmm. that was Trent, guys. He's the manager, one of the managers. But, um, so stop bringing out. He's gay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but yeah, <laughs> first, first. Love to throw that in there. First, first yeah, don't freak out over anything. Um, yeah, so first boyfriend, you know, whatever, a little teenage love, you know? Uh -huh. Second, like I talked to guys in between, but I never really got into a relationship. And then the second boyfriend, um, it was like, really good but almost like love bombing in a way you mm -hmm. know like you show yeah. so much affection and i think that's what also fucks with me it's like guys always are so nice at first at first until first. things Three get months. hard until right. things get hard and then right. they don't know what to do and it's just like what i'm left in the dust like i go by you should treat them or what's the saying i don't know i don't know the saying doesn't matter like but, treat them how you get treated no like want them the same way you wanted them at first like show right. that energy Sh show that you're still right. like trying to get them yeah yeah um so yeah that always fucks me and i was dating him for like about a year i'd say and um it was like we moved like really fast which is probably bad like not good to do yeah. that um like moved in and stuff and then he just i don't know if i want to air this out it was just like not good like yeah. super toxic and stuff and something happened which i'm not gonna say because obviously i don't want to like throw anyone under the bus whatever mm -hmm. but it just showed me like honestly if you got done dirty it's not throwing anyone under the bus i've aired all my exes out on my stream who gives a fuck if you don't want to be talked about like shit, don't do shitty things yeah that's true well the thing is like you can, you are free to talk about your personal experiences as much as you want if anyone has anything to say about it tell them to suck a dick i know don't i don't be know a shitty person if you don't want to be aired out literally like he he was i'm still like kind of friends with him but oh. like i don't really like not like that much like we had the same friend group but mm -hmm. um i don't know i have why are you guys saying ggs like it's not that big of a deal mm -hmm. um he was with talking to his ex not crazy oh. um while you guys were dating yo that's literally what happened to me my ex i fucking oh my god this sounds exactly like my ex he was love bombing the shit out of me at first and then as soon as i caught him texting his ex everything all the effort dropped well no he, i was he broke up with me and then right dude. oh yeah oh okay so after the year yeah okay like three days after Oh wow! So what it put me why, in a why did state. He, he broke you up. Why did you guys break up? What was his reason to break up with you? Uh, he needed to work on himself. Right. Yeah. Work on himself. Mm -hmm. Lots of lots of self growth and yeah. days. Yeah. <laughs> but like, oh my god, that that like gave me a wake up call in my brain, yeah. and I was like, like, what the fuck am I doing? Like, I realized like I'm not supposed to want or need a person in a relationship. I'm supposed to right. want them. I right. can't be so dependent on their attention, their reassurance. Like, I need to reassure myself. I need to have myself. Because mm -hmm. depending on other people only leads you to, like, more stress, mm -hmm. pushing each other away, you know? Right. So, yeah, I feel like after that, that really, like, that broke me a lot. Like, it, it genuinely broke me, like, as a person. How long ago was this? Last 
August. Mm. Or the, yeah, last year. Yeah. August. And then she's oh my god, whatever. Why are you guys saying GGs? I'm speaking like let me speak. Ignore them, ignore them, just talk. Um so yeah, obviously it's like hard to like um now like as a person just completely let someone in because like I said, they're all nice at first. And it's just right. like, how do I know you're not gonna switch up? Like, yeah, you're telling me the same thing he told me. And you still text your ex. So or you still say hi. Like, I don't know. I just like I don't know. I really don't know. Like, I'm so willing to like give stuff a chance, give it a chance. But there's still a part of me that's like, I'm scared. Like, I'm so scared. Like extremely right. scared. And I don't know how to get that to go away. Have you heard of the three month rule? I have. That's like literally like it sounds dumb because it's like a three month rule but like it's so like Real. guys can't guys can't put up a front for more than three months guys are incapable of putting up a front for more than three months so by the third month if their actions don't line up with the first month then you know that they were just acting like they're pretending to be somebody they're not yeah that's i feel like if you get in a relationship but with like someone, that's also it's like, it's like i don't want to waste my time again Right. That's why it's only three months. I mean, it's not, there's no harm in yeah, getting to Yeah, but I get somebody. it. When I love someone, I love someone. When I get attached, I get that's, attached. That's the problem. Don't see, don't do that. that but I find too. it hard. That like, I find me it too. so hard to not get attached. Oh my attached. God. I wish, I wish I had someone when I was your age to tell me not to fucking do that because I have literally gotten my heart broken a million and one times because that's, that I would tell myself that's just the way that I am. Mm -hmm. And like, it's really just your mindset. If you think that like, like there's nothing, you can't change that, then that's just going to be it. Like that's, yeah. you're just going to keep getting hurt and getting hurt guys. Like you have to, you have to play the game the way the guys play it. I feel like I'm like almost self-sabotaging everything. Yeah. I feel you. And I don't even realize it. You because know? you like. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Lacey yelling at me? Lacey, you shut the fuck up. We're just talking. The hell? <laughs> Since like March fourth. Wow, you know the exact date. March fourth, and it's only April. It's only been a month. I think no, it's so the, heck, it's what? somewhere near that date. So you feel like you're going in with your walls up? Yeah, that's basically what Lacey told me too. You're going in with your walls up because of your past experiences. Yeah. Yeah, okay, and you feel like you're self-sabotaging, but like if you are self-aware and you know that you're doing this to yourself, then how, why do you keep doing it? I don't know. It's just like I can't control it sometimes. Like You can. You could fully totally control it. I can, but... You, you, you think about it in your head, and then you make the conscious decision to like do what you're doing because you think that's just what I do. Yeah. That's just how I am. But if, you're, if you have that moment where you think about it and you're like, fuck, I'm self-sabotaging and this is just what I do, maybe I shouldn't do it. Like, go the I other also route. Like, like these past few months have been like hard for me like a lot of like personal stuff and family stuff mm -hmm. so I'm like am I truly happy with myself like am I ready to give my attention and like literally like my heart to someone else when I'm not even like fully there my like you know I'm not yeah so you feel like you still want to work on yourself I mean that's what I like go back and forth on. I what do you just mean so you go back and forth on it. Like sometimes I, you feel like you're good and sometimes you feel like you're not. Yeah. And it's hard to it's like really hard to understand. Yeah. Um but I don't know. I really don't know. I try so hard. I I like sat in my car the other day and I was just thinking about everything. I was like, what do I want? Like I don't know what I want. I seriously don't know what I want. And it's fucking right. with me. It's like making me stress out. Like I don't know what i want like tell me tell me what you're conflicted between like what are what are the like staying alone and then like oh like opening the door to like a different yeah mm. yeah but if you if you chose to stay alone are you really gonna stay alone like would you actually i like, don't like, like i don't like talking i really don't like talking to people and just to talk to them like right i agree it's it's pointless Baby, I love you. um so waste of time. Yeah. But usually the guys are the ones wasting your time. Exactly. What are? But like, how? How would you know if you have one that's not wasting your time? I don't know. That's the thing. 
What if you fuck it up and it's one that's not trying to waste your time because of all the walls that you have put up? I know, I know. I know, you're right, you're right. <laughs> They're all saying, mmm. <laughs> I know, I... <laughs> and it's just subscribe. I don't know. It's just hard. Like, it's really hard to understand. This is delusional. No, I do get it. I definitely get it. But I feel like... Well, I mean, first of all, you were, you were I'm assuming, single for from August till March. That's a good amount of time. And if you feel like that's not enough time, then you can always Thanks. take more time. Yeah. And, like, work on yourself like no one will hate on you because you want to grow as a person like that's not a bad thing at all but first of all don't don't like trail someone along thanks baby I if you're you. like still trying to figure shit out yourself if you're conflicted in your own like in yourself like by yourself don't don't drag somebody along yeah no i agree but also but i'm also like I don't want to like like lose something yeah exactly so it's just so like weigh out your the pros and the cons for yourself like like weigh out your options like do you feel like you're at a place where like Thanks, you're you. so not good by yourself that you need to literally be alone or is it something that you can work on with somebody especially if it's someone that's like like there's guys that like bring you down and like there's guys that are more focused on themselves and then there's guys that aren't and there's guys that are like empowering and like you know? Yeah. Thanks, I know. Baby, I, love you. I don't feel like I feel like Talk honestly just I feel like Lacey would be a fucking He's great he's boyfriend. a sweetheart. He's such a sweetheart. Like he's so sweet. And like every time he talks to me about you, he seems so like like what the fuck do I do? Like help me, what do I do? And I'm like, oh my god, like <laughs> what's happening? Like why? <laughs> it's also hard because you know, you're on social media and you have all this right. like forcing right. and, and pressure see, exactly. and it's like Back. hate, but then positivity and it's just like, it fucks with your brain. It's like, oh, like that's, this is affecting I, me as well. That's the thing. I feel if you're like, if you like succumb to like the internet pressure, like you're literally not going to be able to do shit or you're not like, you need to like literally isolate all of that out of your brain. Like, like bro the internet like literally look at it like when you scroll through like fucking kylie jenner's comments or something like anyone on instagram like there, there's always going to be someone sucking dick like there's just always don't like the, the that should be the last thing that like you know what it is i feel like for him it's not even that bad but like i feel like like people's communities almost ruin opportunities for them in relationships because they like literally scare the shit out of like the significant other because of how much pressure they put and like they don't know what yeah. the fuck happens when the cameras it's, aren't on it's they definitely don't see everything that's going down it's definitely like pushed me away a yeah. little bit i'm not gonna lie it's pushed like me all away. the attention and all the eyes on you and like all of them like telling you what to do and like i think it's just mad if you don't do what they want you to do yeah yeah it's just like how can i be like i'm like how do how can i be perfect like how can i please everyone and i can't right. i literally can't don't worry about um, pleasing everyone. That's not your goal here is to please everybody. That's the last thing you need to be worried about. If they're not happy, kick rocks. It's also like, I'm not trying to like be an asshole, but like when like Lacey will go on stream and like say something, you know? Like what? Like if you like troll or whatever, like I'm like sensitive, like, so. Like it's talk not... about you or talk about other girls? No, it's just like drama. Like I hate like the back and forth. Like, okay, today I'm going to be sad. And then mm. like the next day it's like, oh, I'm going to be happy. I don't know, it just kind mm -hmm. of fucks with me. And it's like, I don't know what to take serious. Um, right. Not saying, like, hey, like, it's not a bad I thing. Mean, it's I just, like, like... First, like, I feel like your first thought should just be, like, oh, it's for content. Like, the first, first thing, like, don't take anything from stream personally because it's just for content. Yeah. Like, that's... And then whatever they're... The, the chat should be, like, literally on, like, your scale of, like, what the heck, like, you're worried about. Like what the chat says should be down the fuck here like the last thing you're worried about like yeah. worry about yourself worry about your relationship worry about your like your own mental health and then like they'll be happy with whatever like the ones that want to be happy the ones that like are literally there to support you they'll be happy if you're happy yeah if, if the ones that aren't happy those are the ones that are just here for their own personal entertainment yeah no, I agree. but Lacey in the court where is he <laughs> i don't know 
Is he here? Is he listening? He definitely is listening. <laughs> I'm not gonna ask that question. I know he's. It's listening. also hard when pe two people are overthinkers, like big overthinkers. Yeah, in your life. that's right. But yeah. that also, I feel like that works because if one person is an overthinker and the other person isn't, like that person's overthinking is gonna feel crazy all the time. But if the other person's overthinking with them, like you almost have someone to validate your feelings. Yeah. No. That's. I mean, yeah. Uh, you have to look at the like the cup half full versus half empty. Like, look at the bright side of things. You and Lacey are perfect for each other. Y'all care about what everyone else thinks than your, more than your own thoughts. Yo, Feldy, like... <laughs> I can't... Manager right there. Best manager in the world right there. Love it. I don't know. I'm, like, vibing right now. Like, I feel like I'm at a good place, but then there'll be a day where I'm just like, fuck, like... Am I making the right choice? Like, am I mm -hmm. am I supposed to do this? Am I ready? Right. But like, today's been good. But then tomorrow, I'll be like, fuck. You know? Like, yesterday, yesterday when you went into the room and then I asked you, like, what's happening with you guys? What, I forgot what you said. You said you're more than friends. And then he said that's the first time he heard that. That means that there's, it's like, just communication like... between you guys that's missing. Like, you guys have things that, like, you guys should be talking about. And then I also said to him, like, if she's, like, basically hanging it in front of you, like, she's telling you, like, there's potential there, but you're just not putting in the effort. He says, I do, but she doesn't, she doesn't, like, like, he said, oh, like, he asked, like, I said, oh, like, go out on a date or something. Ask her to, like, go out to eat. Like, go out, go somewhere, like without the cameras like just go out you just you two and he would be like i try and she just flops last minute i also Is live you, like, i also yeah you live an hour and a half away I yeah know you so and we obviously like end stream like at the same time and it's like late so i'm like, exhausted and stuff but like i've been trying like i've been asking to hang out going over there and stuff so yeah like did you sleep over yesterday yeah oh he said you weren't gonna he said you say that every day and then you leave I think I only said it one other time. He's a little bit dramatic, I'm not gonna lie. Mm. <laughs> he might be more dramatic than me. That's wild. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so funny. So everyone's but... saying Adam, where is he? Is he, like, I don't even see him typing. You wanna add him or you wanna just talk us? You can add him. Uh, you ain't funny. Couples therapy is wild. <laughs> Couples is. therapy is insane. <laughs> We've had so, oh, I remember our first, our first couples therapy. Oh, you. What just happened? Join the other call, Darla. Okay. I don't even know, is he like joining or not? I don't know. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, I think he's at home goods. Mm. Did he say he was going to? Did you text him? No. I just saw them all say a bunch of people said it at the same time, so I'm assuming like that came from somewhere. Mm. And text him. Did <laughs> Jamal in the DMs? Jamal always texts me. I don't know what he says. I don't look at it that much. 